Well, I was at the Minsk tractor works at the moment the 7 a.m. shift was about to start and people were flocking to work as per usual. The overwhelming majority of them did not want to speak to me at all. A few people who I spoke to said that they did not want to strike. One person, though, cried out, long live Belarus, which is the cry of the opposition as he was going into the factory. And I said, why aren't you striking? And he said, I will later. A couple of other people said that they were going to strike later on. And one man agreed to speak to me for a bit longer. He said he was already on strike and he thought that 80 percent of workers at the factory supported the idea of strike action but that it's very hard for people to strike with a lack of proper independent trade unions, lack of any support structure and a very real risk of losing your job and your revenue if you go on strike. Now, just now I saw a video posted online of workers inside the grounds of that factory doing the rounds and recruiting more people to join the strike. They were supposed to come out at 8 a.m., according to one announcement that was made. That didn't happen, but I could see a small group inside the grounds of the factory, though I couldn't go uh, in to actually talk to them. But it looked like a very small group, but now on this video it looks as though that group is getting bigger. But the general feeling is that only a part of the workers of these large state-owned factories in Belarus will have uh, the courage to go on strike because the pressure is too big on them to lose their revenues. The risk is too big.